Hi friends, it's Carolyn Zook here with Zook Stitch, and today I'm going to do a flip through of the August edition of the World of Cross Stitch. It's a UK magazine. I do have a subscription to it, but you can often find these, if you're in the US anyway, you can often find these at Barnes & Noble or places like that. Your LNS might have them. I don't think mine does, but I do get a monthly subscription and they do send it directly to my house. So I will do a flip through of, of this for you. And so first up, every, every issue they have a Furry Tales. And this is, um, oh gosh. I completely, the, the designer name is, is um, escaping me. She does these all the time though. I'm so sorry, I, I, and it's not listed on here for some reason. So, um, but every issue they have a cute little furry tail design, and I just covered up the chart here. My brain is not working quite yet. I just got done filming my floss tube, uh, where I just rattled on and on and on. Um, so this is another, so this is called Just For You. It says it's designed by Hallmark. Um, it's not a sweet little. I, I thought that I think that would make a great Mother's Day or um, birthday. I think that's a really cute design. It says it takes about 28 hours of stitching. That's what I like about this um, magazine. It gives you approximate time. They have a lot of reader. This this magazine is very focused on on readers and so they will share a lot of different projects that readers are working on letters emails things like that so this is designed this next one is uh, called something to celebrate designed by Angela Poole and they are cards um, but you can mix and match to you know if somebody's having a special birthday or anniversary uh, you can kind of put in whatever age you want in there. So that's really cute. So they have the cards and they do have numbers uh, charted out for you so you can mix and match the numbers so that it suits you. This next one is designed by Doreen Jones. It's called Stitch and Smile and it's a little flowery, is that a hedgehog? Hedgehog, yes. And it says, live life in full bloom. They made it into a pillow. But you won't have to. I just think that's so cute in those colors. Very, very cute. Oh, and that one says it takes 30 hours to stitch. This next one, so they do a pet of the month every month. And I think I, I've said that before. Uh, where somebody will send in a photo of their pet and ask, them to chart it and they have a Leon burger which is somewhat unusual I think uh, but I love it I have a friend who's had Leon burgers for a long time um, so I showed her I showed her this sent a text picture of it for her and she said she had to go out and get the magazine so um, yeah so that's fun um, and then here's another they do another wishes granted so where somebody sends in, I'm looking for a chart of this. It's not always a pet. This one happens to be a pet, but um, it's not always a pet. It's just, you know, um, one I remember they wanted a girl swimming or something like that. So, and then they tried to accommodate that, which is nice. Very, very reader centered. This next one is by, designed by Fiona Baker. It's called Motion of the Ocean. And it is a beautiful jellyfish. So that's really pretty. And this one says it takes 20 hours. Lots of backstitching in this one. I mean, it's black work, they say. So it's basically all backstitch. I think, in fact, it is all backstitch. So 
If you like backstitching, that would be a great one for you. This next one is called Fun at the Seaside, and they do this, they have a design library, they call it, in every issue where they have many, many, many just small little designs. So this one has 39, and it's all centered around a theme, and this is at the, at the seaside. So I can show you some of the, these are just some of the patterns that they have. Um, they won't, I can't show you all of them because some of them are just the charts. But look at this little seagull. Isn't he so cute? And then I really like this little sunset. And they just give you ideas of how you can use their charts. Um, but you can be really creative with it. Um, and there's lots more designs in here that are just adorable. So this next one is designed by Lucy Heaton. It's called Forever and Always. It's a wedding sampler. Isn't that cute? I think that's so, so cute. And this says it takes about 20 hours to stitch. And there is an alphabet included so you can personalize it for you, for whoever you're giving it to or yourself. They include an alphabet in every issue as well. And this one is called Daisy Chains. Um, and do they say how long? They don't say how long. Sometimes they say how long they expect each letter to take. But this is, but you get the whole alphabet so you can spell out whatever you want. So that's really pretty. This next one is, what is this? It is a chart. It's called Phoebe's Masterclass. Um, it's by Phoebe Riley. So they're focusing on a new technique every month. So different type of, of stitches. So they give you instructions on how to do that. But here's the chart. It's not pretty. So they'll teach you different stitches. Um, it's a woven peacock stitch. Pico. 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 Stitch. And that should take 15 hours to do that piece. This next one is by Jane Henderson. It's called Kitchen Stitching. And this is really unique. This is pot holders. Now, I have to admit, it makes me so nervous to see that beautiful stitching and that white fabric right next to that um, pasta sauce. <laughs> um, yeah, because it's it's they're so beautiful. I would not want to put it near pasta sauce. Um, they do give you the full instructions on how to make them, so how to sew them into um, mini pot holders as well. So they give you that information in here as well if you would like to do that. And so last month we had. Um, a chart, a kind of Japan culture chart, and this is the companion piece. This is by Maria Diaz, and it's called Way of the Warrior. So it's kind of the second piece. Did that? I just love, I love cherry blossoms, so I just really love that. And this should take about sixty hours. So this is a bigger one, very, very lot of stitching in it. Not totally full coverage, but pretty, a lot. Pretty a lot. <laughs> um, and I think that's it. So I'm not going to stitch anything in this in this um, issue. So I'm going to go ahead and give this away on this video for those who watch this video. Um, so if you would like a chance to be entered to win this, say something about August. This is the August issue. So say something about August. And I will leave it open for about a week. So until next Saturday, which would be August. Eighth, and then I'll draw a winner and what I'll do is I will um, I'll try to announce it in uh, my regular floss tube update but I'll also put a message on um, your comment when you if you win this so thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon bye